Hey everyone, here's a recap of the mid-journey office hours from June 12th. The main things to talk about are the new releases. That's the new version of Niji Journey and personalization. Niji Journey now writes kanji and other Japanese characters, and personalization completely customizes the model to you based off of image ratings and explore page likes. It is not a super stable feature at the moment, but it will be likely on by default for version 7. David said it's the future of mid-journey in a lot of ways. Keep in mind that it doesn't take any single rating into account, it really just takes a judgment over hundreds of choices. David said they've been working on it for over a year and more features related to it will be released. He said over the next week, but we will see about that. He mentioned more tools like seed locking, or moving through time, or multiple profiles, or even combining profiles, They'll start simple, but might expand in these areas in the future. David said that advanced controls are definitely important, but they need to stay focused on the default experience, and we can expect updates to personalization in the next week. He also said that they got a thumbs up from their team for a final training run of 6.1 or 6.5, whatever you want to call it. He said probably 6.5. They're testing a lot of their version 7 features in version 6, and training this 6.5 could take between 2 and 4 weeks. It could include an update to the upscaler as well, so that's something to look forward to. There is also a hardcover mid-journey magazine book coming. Basically, it's a hardcover super edition with every page from the first year of the magazine. I think that sounds kind of exciting, I'm probably going to get that. And they might give away more magazine subscriptions to mid-journey members. They're just trying to figure out exactly how they could do that, like how many they can give away and the best places to do it. David said they're also training small test instances of version 7, and that a full version 7 might take a month to train. So we are many months away from a full release. Then there was also some small changes to the website. David said they're taking in new people to the website every day and they're seeing them become extremely confused. He said the website is probably for new people rather than existing users because existing users are happy enough on Discord. And people who use the website are people who couldn't figure out how to make a Discord account. So it's a different kind of person and they have to take their perception into account. If you like the art in this video, here is the prompt. It is just my personalization code. I'll leave it in the description, but it's W-O-M-L-1-A-I. I used Chaos 3 as well as Style Raw for a lot of these. I chose random subjects. Everything you see is based off of my personalization code. Leave your personalized codes in the comments below if you want a chance of me using it in next week's video. If you want a better look at some of my pictures, you can follow me over on Instagram. If you want to check out some prompts, you can follow me over on Twitter, at Future Tech Pilot. There's a recap of the Mid Journey Office Hours. I hope you're doing well, take care, and I'll see you next time.